10 pounds away to our right hand side who have made the a long journey down to Staffordshire uh, today there's at least a hundred or so of them behind that goal away to our right hand side it's a long way to go on a Tuesday night as that ball was whipped across the face of the goal a free header as well from the Gateshead man that's a uh, Butterfield I believe and uh, he flashes it past Jazz Singh's goal and uh, got himself in a good position there Kev and uh, allowed so Atmos the atmosphere is non-existent. Yeah, um, like I said, obviously, a, a bit earlier than you, Kevin. I couldn't really see how many people had filtered into the ground below us. Well, that's good work from Akwai. A cross deflected and then an opportunity strike off balance from Shakuna goes a foot, uh, sorry, a yard or so over um, Moss's goal. And the first shot in anger in the first uh, time that we've actually entered the opposition penalty area, Stu. Yeah, and we got down that right-hand side well, didn't we, which allowed Ben Aquai to get that cross in. Field sent his diving header wide of Justin's post where he was completely unmarked in the box. And there's been a few of us since, but Tamworth now with Creaney finds Aquai out on the left-hand side. He's just dispossessed. That's he tries to play Given away by Gateshead. Sorry to cut across his stew. It's a half chance for Tamworth. And he's blasted into the goal by Nathan Shakuna. And that really was all about persistence from Ben Aquai. It looked like the chance had gone. He'd lost possession. But actually, play continued. Never gave it up. The cutback was there. Fell to Nathan Shakuna about 17 yards from goal. And he's placed it fairly well into uh, Moss's left-hand corner to give Tamworth and against the runner play lead I'd say Stu yeah you would have to say it's against the runner play um, not really that either keepers had to make any telling saves or so but possessionally it's been all gates said so far and but like you say evening to everybody on National League TV as well hurled in by Tonkson more defending for Gateshead to do little knockdown almost sat for Shakuna but not quite falls to a quite to send it goalwards and he never really quite got the direction under control and it's out for a goal kick to Gateshead but to be fair when it falls to a Ben Akwai in that position Stu you'd normally see him hit the target you would yeah it was hit low it was hit hard but unfortunately it was well he gets wide, it away it? into midfield where Shakuna lays it off for Tonks. That's a great outside of the boot pass. This is where Tamworth always look dangerous now. Finn going away down the right-hand side. We've not been able to say that too many times this season. Finn will try one. Well, I think he's aware that I could skip up off the surface there, Stu, but it was easy in the end for Moss. Very central, not really near the corner. But Creamy was running across the flight of the ball, and it was one of those where it just needed a little nick or skip up off the surface and sending the ball away when it does come into the box don't want to end up eating my own words though Kev like we did on Saturday yeah, but at the minute it is fairly comfortable defensive wise that's a good little ball through midfield though this could open Tamato half chance palmed away by Jazz Singh it was actually really nice football out of this game Tamworth yet to make a change um, this evening yeah Gateshead having made three already and unlike Saturday against Halifax where the substitutions really did make a difference in almost straight away so far it's not brought dividends for the heave but they're here to go again now it's an early cross and actually well defended by Jordan Conley live it's actually shipped out it's gone for a goal the, kick uh, oh it has yeah it's gone for a goal kick so the touch must have been off the um, Gateshead man, but good covering by Jordan yeah, Cullen, very, very, uh, very close you know, to Mark, yeah. the list, at least. Delighted to see that that is a, a, a very welcome addition. And Matt Curley not involved tonight after coming on on Saturday against Halifax in that second half and a, up in a more advanced role, taking Tom with Lynch's role. Tamworth go with a give and go down the right side, early crossing by Kyle Finkton. Greedy! It's those words again, Dan Creedy. And Tamworth do take a 2 0 lead. A really cushioned header into the corner past Moss after a very early cross from Kyle Finn. Creedy gets his fifth of the season. And Stu, that's a brilliant position to be in now for Tamworth. It certainly is. It was a fantastic cross in from the far side. And Dan Creedy with his head once again. He's scored more goals with his head than his feet this season so far, Kev. <laughs> yeah. 
and uh, yeah, that is the cushion that we certainly needed. Like I said, Gates had, had made all five of their changes, trying to get something. We actually did exactly that to Gates said there with that very neat bit of play down the right wing and early volley crossed by Finn. In comes that corner again, headed over the bar from the far corner of the six yard box and that's a presentable chance i think from benny Yoon. yeah it's a, it's a miss i don't know whether jazz would have had that covered had it been under over to this side of the pitch now down the right flank four gates said cross coming in away by hollis of course up towards halfway where Gates said we'll try to build again. Into the centre circle now. And chipped forward into the Tamworth area. Jazz Singh needs to come out. It is in the back of the Tamworth net. And Gates said do get a goal back. Let's just pray that that is actually too late. But it might not be. It was a, a, a direct looping ball into the area. A little knockdown and stabbed goalwards past Jazz Singh from about eight yards. And you can't blame me for that one, Stu. I didn't say it. No, referee still allowing this one to go on. I haven't felt nervous all match, but uh, in the circumstances right now, you know, I am. Hang on, listeners. There it is. There, there it is. is the full-time whistle. Tamworth have won this game here. Two goals to one. That moves Tamworth up to 14th in the National League.